Welcome to Radio Boomers Live, the show about all things human from a baby boomer's perspective. All things hot and all things not. News, reviews, interviews, chat, text, and what's next. And here are your hosts, Risa Gray from Betty White's Off Their Rockers and Easy's dad, Jim Zuli. Good morning, everybody out there in Radio Boomers Live Land. Good morning. Our, to our Easy Way family. And Retha, are you on with us? Star of Big Way Software, Dr. Good Retha morning, Gray. Good morning. We're ready to rock and roll, Retha, and the holidays are now totally upon us. And are we ready? Is Retha ready? Did she go out and do her shopping and all the shopping malls? I don't think so, right? I, <laughs> I don't really do. I mean, all my grandkids are, you know, pretty big. They, there's no Santa Claus happening here. So um, I'm I'm ready as I'm gonna be <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> Time, well, you know that's a nice feeling when you're kind of all prepared, and because uh, you know I, I I've been out and uh, I don't see the stores quite as busy as they used to be. But Reese, I'll tell you what, we had a home run. Eric had a home run. Uh, James Dentley with the uh, you know the the event, the JD3 TV Limitless for Women event was amazing it was a home run on the easy way I, powered by the easy way wall of fame wow i Did only got to, out? to hear a little bit i only got to hear a little bit i was really busy over the weekend but it sounded fabulous i heard a little bit of dante dr dante sears and she was fabulous as always dante was great a lot, of, a lot of information a lot of information a lot of information and uh yeah, you know, Dante, she she puts it out there, and with the health and the uh, real estate, she's got it all. And uh, James uh, and and Eric, everybody they had on. I'll tell you what the problem was, and I had a little problem with it. I had a lot of stuff to do this weekend, and I could not put my iPad down. I was just every speaker was so interesting, and I'm grabbing a pad, taking notes because I'm thinking this is good stuff. So it's archived, so you can go to the Easy Way Wall of Fame and check it out and uh, and listen. That's three days. It's a treasure trove of information. But well, with that, Reese, I think we got our uh, topic time. It's time we for our topics. In. Yes, indeed. And there we go. Ripped from the headline, today's hot topic. Well, four years ago, the Electoral College was the big deal, and here we are again today, and it's the day for the Electoral College to, I don't know if they physically meet, but they definitely vote today. I don't know how they actually vote, but this is the day that it happens. And so it doesn't matter what you've heard on TV, it doesn't matter who said who was president, This is going to be the deciding factor. And the electoral votes are in. And um, it's going to be a very interesting day today. Uh, For those of you who were shocked four years ago to find out that the Electoral College is the one who actually elects the president, well, we're going to go through the same thing again this time. Uh, They need 170 Votes is it a, is it 170? I think it's 170 or 270. One of the two. They need a certain amount to be president. And as it looks as of right now, the electoral college people have to vote for the people they are committed to by the people's vote. And at this point, it looks like Joe Biden is going to be declared president at the end of the day today. Is there going to still be a fight? According to President Trump, there's still going to be a fight going on about the validity of the election. Uh, But as of today, after the Electoral College votes, that's what the Constitution says will make that final decision. So we're in for a roller coaster ride, folks. We're going to have lots of hot topics going on for the next few weeks. So stay, check out the news. You'll find out. You'll be the first to know when you when the Electoral College finishes voting 
That will be the final decision. Jim, what's your hot topic today? Well, in the virtual world of events, which everyone knows it's it's the place to be now, and there's not much choice, uh, world-renowned speaker James Dentley and media mogul Eric Zuli put down a super hit uh, home run with the JD3 TV uh, Limitless for Women event. And I'll tell you what, in the in the virtual world, they're they're laying the groundwork. And uh, I'm moving on with we got some just guys. I keep telling you this stuff. Mortgage rates hit a 14th record low in 2020, but uh, it it may not last long. So you're when you're talking in the two percent category, two and a half percent, three percent. You definitely don't want to miss out on that if you own a home and you're up in the three and a half, four percent range, you want to refinance or buying a new home, try to find ways to do it. This this is a game changer for your payments, low payments. So uh they they might be going up, we don't know, might stay down for a long time, but you don't want to take the chance. New home loan applications jump nine percent, a gain of twenty eight percent. With single family homes in short supply, condos gain popularity. And but you got your added expense with the condo. You got your HOA. And if you buy a home a home, you gotta watch out for the uh if they have the Belarus or Homeowner Association, that gets expensive. Could be a hundred to a thousand dollars a month, averaging around three probably. Congressional debate over new econ- economic relief package. Everybody's waiting for their twelve hundred if single, twenty four hundred if they're married. Uh, still in negotiations, both sides, uh, difficult times trying to find a, a happy medium, but hopefully something will be found and everybody will get the checks. There are 12.58 million unemployed in the U.S. The coronavirus outbreak has triggered what they say unprecedented mass layoffs and furloughs. But a lot of people, they say, are finding ways, to, finding new jobs or finding ways to make money at home. Most Americans have an average of $3,500 saved. Now, a lot have hundreds of, I mean, there are those that have hundreds of thousands, but on average, they say 3500 saved, and a third have less than 1000 So that's something you want to do in these difficult times, try to put a little look aside. The average American monthly expenses, though, are around 5000 uh, Closing businesses, restaurants, uh, they say one in four U.S. workers could be out of, out of business, but uh, on the other hand, when unemployment is 6.4 percent, those numbers don't see that up. But uh, when things do get back in gear, they open fast. Over the weekend, I was out, and a lot of places are open during the so-called shutdown. A lot of people are sh- shopping; can't stop Christmas, right? On the upside, mortgage rates—they're uh, just exploding. Uh, in 30 years, the 2.7 range, I'm going back to this, these are new things coming in. If you have a 6.50 or higher FICO score and a good debt-to-income ratio, you can, you can, you know, get approved for something like this. Uh, tons, all right, there's a lot of information going out on the uh, – the voter situation, uh, some saying they got to get those counts right. So both sides are waiting for, like Aretha was saying, the Electoral College to come in. A lot of questions on, our, is, did the voting go through right? Was there was there a little hanky-panky going on there? Uh, older term. And uh, they're looking at all of this stuff. So we got... Uh, Many are saying the shutdown is uh, is causing a lot of issues. But on the other side, you know, it, it is, but people are resilient. They're finding ways to uh, to cope with this, to, to uh, maybe a home business, or, you know, there, there's all kinds of scenarios. So we want to keep a positive outlook on all this damn stuff. And there are ways, if you research how to make money in a downed economy. Well, the economy's got its issues, but there, there's always ways around it. And with that, Reef, I'm trying to keep positive note. We're going to go to a commercial. We have our super guest, Jeffrey Levine, coming up. The Brain Tap is a unique headset that combines light and sound frequencies with guided meditations. Dr. Patrick Porter, inventor of Brain Tap and member of our faculty, 
has created 20 to 30 minute course reviews for many of our courses. Before starting a course or at any point before taking the exam, you can put on your brain tap, close your eyes, and begin your course review. Brain tapping guides your mind from an awake, reactionary mind into an intuitive, creative state, then to a place where super learning and healing can occur, with the outcome being a heightened state of consciousness with crystal clear focus. Relax with scientifically proven techniques that create a symphony of brainwave activity, a feeling of calm focus that's just right for learning and productivity. Each session is designed with brainwave balance in mind. Some audio sessions have dual voice processing, which means you may hear two voices speaking at the same time. This technique is used for inspiring left and right brain balance. Are you looking to accelerate your influence? EasyWayWall.com is a new site that allows you to promote yourself, business, brand, and your products as an influencer. You can share your ideas, receive comments, promote and brand yourself with the power of affiliation. Associate yourself and your brand with the power players of today to become leaders of tomorrow. Come and join the EasyWay Wall today. Sign up at wall.easywaybroadcasting.com or text EasyWay Wall to 55678. Yes, indeed. Brain tap. I'm into brain tap. Get my brain in order. So we have our uh, we we had to have him back. Uh, popular demand here. Jeffrey Lorraine is uh, Well Solutions, and I'll tell you what. Uh, Jeffrey is he's the go-to guy in this day and age. Uh, Jeffrey is such an impressive writer. He's a business advisor. Uh, financial coaching, and just the list goes on and on, attorney. Uh, with this situation that's going on today, uh, Jeff is the guy that will get you on track with the financial planning, the taxes, whatever the situation. He is an expert to the expert. He's an advisor to the, you know, to the people in the business, and they come to him. So let's bring him on and find out what the heck's going on today. Jeffrey Levine, you're on with us. James, thank you Jeffrey for Levine, having me. Jeffrey Levine, Dot Solutions, and uh, that's that's how they get to you. But, Jeff, I'll tell you what. I uh, I usually start out with what uh, kind of got you on the path, which we're all glad you're on, and, and what we need to do is clone Jeffrey Levine and get him out there <laughs> Of course, that's kind of what uh, what's going on. You're being cloned in a way virtually, but we need more of you because there's so many questions. Not only with us baby boomers, but everybody. Um, so, real quick, what what got you in this line, Jeff? Because this is a, a technical thing. It's not easy what you do, and but you not only you help so many people and get them back on track. What what brought you into this field? Well, I grew up in a family, James. Uh, where taxes uh, were a big challenge. And my father every year owed money that he didn't have because he lived paycheck to paycheck. And I wanted to know more about taxes and help people with their taxes. And it's really tax planning, James. Uh, And that during the year, a lot of times it's too late in January because you it's like anything else. You plan during the year, and then you fill out the taxes in March, April. And the other thing is helping people. Now that I knew all these tax uh, laws and how to help people, I wanted to learn about finance and help people build money for retirement. So uh, I studied that and put them together. And for 30 plus years back in Albany, New York, I helped people get retired and stay retired. You know, it's one thing, James, to get retired. But today with life expectancy, it's a bigger challenge to stay retired and have the money there when you need it. Well, let me backtrack a little bit, uh, Jeff, because I forgot to introduce you to Reetha. Reetha's on with us today. <laughs> I, Hi, I am. Just, I, Jeffrey, always good to have you on the show. 
you brought up an a interesting point about being able to pay the taxes if the uh, when it, when they come due. There, I always hear a push at the end of the year to get that last donation in for you know twenty twenty or whatever. Is that really a smart thing to do? Well, it depends on each situation, Rita. There are some people can save money before the end of the year, especially business people, Rita. There are so many things you spend money on for your business. There's no reason why you can't prepay some things. Uh, Buy some equipment if you need it. So I think for the business person especially, there are things you can do before the end of the year. Would you would you suggest like a lot of people don't think of this, but you have your credit cards. You, when you kind of get them, which this I know this is a it sounds like a trick question, but say you kind of get your credit cards in order a little bit, and is it good to if you actually do see the zero mark to keep putting something into a card? I, I know it's a it's a loss because you're not making an interest, but you know just uh, every once in a while. Like I had a card that I'm thinking like, where'd this money go? There's $150 uh, going on to this card, which was paid off. Well, all of a sudden I turn around and I have uh, $450 credit on the card. And I, you know, I stopped that. But when I think about it, okay, you don't want to put that much in a card. Is that a good idea to kind of pay your cards up a little bit? Not only pay them off, but add to it? Well, I like to have them paid off and keep them paid off. Yeah. Uh, I'm so talking about expect- adding credit to it. Yeah, I mean, the most important thing, James, right now, and you mentioned it on the radio, is people don't have a lot of money put aside in case. Yeah. You were mentioning like the average was third have a thousand. You know, one unexpected expense, I would rather have people have some cash so they don't need to use the credit cards. Right, exactly. That's my recommendation, is we don't have enough of an emergency fund, and we found this out. Uh, And I'm going to talk more about this. I'm going to be on the cover of Easy Way magazine in January. Congratulations. So it is because what's happening right now with Christmas gifts, what do we do? Oh. We put it on the credit card. And a lot oh. of us, it takes many, many months to pay it off. And then if we have the unexpected bill and we don't have the money available, then we're back again in a situation we don't want to be in. Yeah. And especially with credit cards, I suggest. Uh, Being very careful, and that's why the liquidity, the emergency fund is so important. There will be something that will come up. There will be Christmas gifts. We all get heart-centered in December. We want to buy gifts for the family, for friends, and sometimes we don't have the money. So we need to watch our spending, especially now. With the pandemic going on, it's almost like a well, mindset. It, oh, you don't need you don't need money. You have a credit card. <laughs> you know? It's too e- It's too easy. It's too easy. Yeah. It, it really Way too is. Easy. People, um, people have said or used to say that you needed mm-hmm. to keep six months worth of savings, six months worth of living expenses in savings. Well, the pandemic has taken us way past the six months already, and we don't know how long this is going to be. Yeah. How many months or years worth of savings do we need to have set aside? Well, I'm a believer you have twice as much as the six twice. months if you can. But let me just say yeah. one thing. Inch by inch is a cinch. Yard by yard is hard. Do a little bit of savings if you can each month. Get in the habit of putting money aside. 
And I know in the pandemic, it's a very challenging time, but do the best you can, especially with Christmas here and what we, what we spent. So if anybody wants. Oh, we got a phone going off there. I've I've got some I've got so much equipment here I can't figure out which one it is. <laughs> hey, Reef is popular. Oh, That's what happens when you're a big James, movie star, Reef. <laughs> uh, James, just so people want to know, they can always text me at JLS five five six seven eight if they want to know more. Okay, and. and uh, so now you have the situation where um, people are uh, charging, and what what do you think your card? Now it's going to hurt your credit if you go above fifty percent on your card. You should keep your card. Say for simple math, you have a card a thousand dollar limit because a lot have twenty thousand. So so a thousand. So you should kind of keep it below three hundred, right, uh, Jeffrey? Because if you go over fifty percent, that kind of hurts your credit FICA score, right? bottom line is uh, to be able to pay it off and the higher number you have James the more challenging it would be to pay it off so I'd like to see below numbers especially if you have a credit limit of a thousand okay. so the, theory, the better you, you... You only charge what you can pay off every month. That's what I try well, to do. Well, that's the way I see it, Rita, that's is a, control that's a good your plan. spending. Don't mm. let your spending control you. Mm. Yeah, okay, when I was and, younger, it, 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 I, as long as I had money left on my credit card, then I, I had money. And as I've gotten older, it's like, no, that's not exactly how it works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> doesn't work the way we planned it, right, Jeff? I mean, yeah. I, I really wish I would have met you at least 50, 40 or 50 years ago, and we could have sat down and put my financial plan together. Because a lot of the baby boomers, Jeff, it, it's not panning out right. I mean, you're, you're, you're probably sitting down meeting some of them, and it, it, it's not the way it should be. They don't have enough money in there, and right? What, what's the problem you see when people talk to you and they come in and they're – you know, say give us a scenario of a uh, of somebody that's close to retirement. What's the issues that you're seeing? A lot of them have real quick. They don't have enough money saved. Yeah. And whatever they have saved, it's usually in some kind of retirement plan, James. And huh. uh, that's not, that money that's not good. is is taxable when it comes out. And uh, I don't Yeah, you got to pay attention to the tax situation. So, how's your experience been on your uh your easy way experience on the Wall of Fame and with Eric and everything? What do you think uh on the uh on the new age and the easy way wall and so on? I think it's phenomenal. The easy way wall is one of the best ways to connect with people. Uh what Eric does an easy way, the magazine, the radio, uh, his call on Tuesday afternoon on Voice America, getting the word out, educating people. And, you know, at school, you don't get educated. There aren't very many courses. So what Eric's doing is amazing. And he was a front runner. He was doing this before we had a pandemic. He was doing digital stuff before. So I've seen that. Yeah. That everybody's going to right now. Uh, Going to, and you wouldn't believe And They say, what is it? uh, Copying is the form of flattery. How does that go? Some, well, however that goes. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. There you go. Greatest form of flattery. Rita's my encycl- she's my encyclopedia. Go to person. Oh yeah, and and so uh, I, I see a lot of 
all of a sudden all these platforms and these are influential people they're following what he does and doing it themselves they're you know the copy scenario which is a good thing he he, he enjoys it and uh cuz it's a flattery but uh you know we have to restructure a little bit and uh so what what would you say Jeff where we're at now I'm not going to hit you with all the statistics because uh you know the, the you know it, it they say we're getting close to uh what it was back in the in the 20s with the recession depression so on. what 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 bit of advice would you give people to do now hunker down and save what you can and if you're laid off try to get something going at home or what's the safest thing to do well thanks james i agree with those things i think number 1 is saving is the most important principle because we don't know how long this is going to last. Number two, the home business opportunities are phenomenal. We have the technology. Anybody can do business from anywhere. It's really exciting when you think about what's out there and how many people you can reach at once. It is. It's fantastic. I mean, use what you have. It's fantastic and you can do a home-based business start doing it little by little well jeff how can people get in touch with you again we know we can reach you on the easy way wall and what number is that to text to get to you thank you reza it's text j l s at Five five six seven eight. And for the baby boomers who don't text, is there a direct line where you can be reached? There is, but probably the best way to reach me is Jeffrey J E F F R E Y Levine L E V I N E dot solution. All so, right, so Jeffrey real, so Levine, real, real quick, that it's, solution. It's, it's not too late for Reef and I, right, Jeff? I mean, we're we're a little older, so it's not too late for us to jump on the Jeffrey Levine bandwagon and get a plan for our future. If let's say say we're in a position like some baby boomers you talk to, which seems to be a lot, they're not in a good plan. It's not too late, right? They can always. What I always heard, James, is when people came to me. I wish I knew about you 10 years ago. And my answer was, I'm glad you know me now. Yeah, there you go. Well, you've helped me. I've certainly started saving since you've been coming on the show. I've definitely been a whole lot better. Oh, yeah. You're an inspiration. Oh, thank uh, you. It's a game change. And this is serious stuff, guys. So you want to listen and uh, tune in to Jeffrey because – uh, you know, time goes fast. We all know that. And if you put his plan together, the years go fast. All of a sudden, you're down the road and you're looking at a, a comfortable retirement. And uh, it's nice having some money in the bank and so on and so forth. But thank you for coming on, Jeff. Know you're a busy guy. And uh, looking forward to having you back and keeping us on track here. Well, thank you, James. Thank you, Rita. And just remember, January's coming up. It's a new year. Get ready to get rid of the old year. There you Uh, go. I think we're all ready to get rid of the old year. year. And with (laughs) with the new year, uh, with Jeffrey, it makes financial sense. Well, thank you so much for having me as a guest. All right. Thank Thank you, Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Have a great holiday. Thank you, Jeff. Well, Reef, it's nice having Jeff kind of tune in and give us the tips we need to keep on track. And with that, we're going to go to commercial and then our favorite Carmelita, Carmelita's Corner. Meet the new Money Mindset Mentor, Wealth Builder Jeff Levine, founder of JL Solutions. JL Solutions, accelerate your wealth. Jeff 
Jeffrey Levine is the Money Mindset Mentor. Jeffrey Levine Solutions. Become empowered with the blueprint to scale to sale your business for a million dollar plus value exit potential. And launching JLS TV on Easy Way Network. Join the Money Mentor on the panel of Limitless for Women. You are the conclusion. We are the solution. You are about to experience Carmelita's Corner. Carmelita's song, Rosebud, made it to the top 40s with the godfather of soul, James Brown. She's the founder of the Rose Breast Cancer Society. Now here's your host, Carmelita Pittman. They're feeling grand. I know I am. Because I have a wonderful guest coming your way today, and his name is Howard Rice. He comes to you from Baltimore, Maryland, and he is a wonderful son because he honors his mother, Lillian Rice, who he gives a great deal of credit for his success in the music world. She encouraged him from an early age, and he is the result, a wonderful product in a musical package. He's lectured to underprivileged youth from Baltimore to Los Angeles, and he's used music as a tool which he seeks to touch lives. He started his music career by actually managing talented groups such as Trans and Whipped Cream. And he also formed a band the New World Band, which is still going strong today. He's appeared at the Apollo, the Forum, and many other venues. And most of all, he expresses his gratitude in in spite of all of the accolades. In his quotation, the only success that interests me is fulfilling my God. Given destiny, loving, and caring for my family is becoming a better man. If music is the conduit through which all of this is accomplished, then so be it. Quote, unquote, Howard Rice. And here he is today. Hello, Howard. Good morning, Kamalita. How are you this morning? I'm doing fine. The uh, And I'm going to give away my saying, my my age now, the saying uh, that's been popular for, and around for years is I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. All right. And, you know, that saying's been around for years, but it still sounds good it's to like, me, so I it, still use amazing. it. <laughs> I've heard that many times. I've heard that um, many times. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you know, I want to congratulate you again on all your success in the music world. Thank and so I would like to start the top of this interview with giving people an opportunity to hear your latest. And mm-hmm. it's called Silent Symphony. So, yes. yeah, let's let's hear Silent Symphony. All right. Like music, 
in my mind I never thought I'd find True love on the line Sweet melody Silent symphony set me free Sweet harmony Silence and for me The sound of music Sounds so soft and mellow The violin The French horn To the cello the groove. I hear that groove. <laughs> and you, that yes, and that silky velvet baritone, I'm telling you. You know you can tell that um Barry White had something to do with this, even though he did not mm-hmm. compose the song. Mm-hmm. His guitarist. Mm-hmm. Uh um right. St- Stephen Stephen Gillery, right. Yes, yeah, Stephen nephew. Gillery and his brother Tyree Gillery. Yeah, you yes. can tell that uh, Stevens have been around Barry White. That that uh, oh, yeah. groove groove is oh, so yeah. r- uh, reminding me of uh, the groove that Barry White put out there. I mm-hmm. mean that that caught me years ago. I've had the privilege of actually meeting Barry White uh, back in the day. Uh, I remember that at the time I was just coming from the L.A. Sentinel. Headquarters, uh, which at that time was over on the east side of town, and there was a popular taco place right there on what used to be called uh, Santa Barbara. <laughs> it's now Martin Luther King Boulevard, mm-hmm. and I, I went in there for uh, some tacos, and there was Barry White, oh, and nice. uh, mm-hmm. he was he was very gracious. He struck up a conversation, but now uh, after all these years. Uh, I I have uh, also had the the um, 
privilege or however you want to say it of, of becoming friends with uh, Glodine White. Oh, yes. My, my yes. husband and I, we were just at her birthday party. She loves to give a birthday party every year in October. Fantastic. She brings in a salsa band and the whole works, and it was just great. And uh, when you go in his home, uh, her home now, of course, uh, there's mm-hmm. a huge painting of him up on the wall. When you walk in mm-hmm. the living room, you'll see mm-hmm. it. But, but um yeah, it's been been a wonderful ride. When I first heard his music, I fell in love with it. I mean, yeah. uh, I really, really have. And your voice is, you know, uh, so so much on that level. And I remember you telling me that you also worked at NBC's uh, Tonight Show with uh, Jay Leno, yes. and yes, and I that right, and and. Uh, you had an encounter, a, a, a pleasant encounter with uh, Luther Vandross, who who actually yes. felt like you sounded much like him. So yeah. I mean, you, yeah. you you really are invoking have, some some of the greats, yeah. uh, including yourself. Oh, yeah. yeah, I had a chance to meet Barry White at the Tonight Show, and um, it was it was really awesome. You know, I met uh, I met so many people there at the Tonight Show. And I was Jay Leno's production assistant, and we had great times together at the show, and it was just so many things that um, I just loved being there. And it was a it was a point in my life that um, I've always wanted to meet people, and sometimes you don't always have fun to go to shows. But I was um, had a point in my life where I was sent to work there, and had to uh, Jay wanted me to work for him. And I'm like, it was unbelievable. And I'm like, oh, let me pinch myself, see if this is real. But I did <laughs> have a chance to meet Barry White. And what an awesome brother, Luther, awesome brother. And Denzel, I mean, the names, I could name so many people's names is unbelievable. And they all said the same thing. Why are you here working? I said, well, I have to pay bills. They said, well, you got a point there. And, oh, um, yes. Now, I did. I did um, uh, they all said, you know, you have a type of a voice that is going to take you a long ways. And um, I thank my mother for that. And, you know, like I'm the uh, fourth of seven siblings, you know, from Baltimore, Maryland. I moved out here, been out here like 20-some years. And I just love it out here. I don't like the snow, but I love it out here. And I want to give a shout-out to my friends and uh, Toya and my brothers and sisters, my daughter, and also Toya's mom. She just turned 96 years old. Her name oh, is God Mama Wow. Yeah, she's and still driving. Can you imagine? All right. Good driving. for her. Yeah. So, you know, that's that's a good thing. So people keep me uh, uh, in line as far as what I'm doing, and especially my brother Gene. Man, unbelievable. You know, but I feel good about what's going on, and uh, I love it what's going on. And I want to thank you, Kamalita, because I was on my phone uh, ever since you told me about, uh, uh, invited me as your guest, and I've called so many people, and they and I hope that they're all listening in. And if you all are all listening in, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to you all, and especially around the world. I love you all dearly. Thank you. Well, Howard, you've done your job because uh, I've heard the report that the phone lines have been off the hook. I'm telling you, <laughs> they, they've been ringing <laughs> well, off the hook. Listen. That's a good thing. And it's mm-hmm. also, my song is also on YouTube if you happen to, uh, and I sent out a lot of stuff to folks that who didn't, um, couldn't reach out on the show, but they can go on YouTube and listen. And I've gotten, it's only been out for about two weeks, and I've gotten so many calls and so many people, you know, um, they want to know who you are, you know, and I was telling them who you are and how I met you and so forth. But um, the good thing is, Kamalita, I really appreciate you, and you're going to be around for a long, long time for what you do. You really are. I mean, I think this is really wonderful, wonderful. Well, God's given me a lot of gifts, and I, I do everything I can to to use them because there's, right. a, there's a passage in the Bible about, you know, what happens when you don't use your gifts. That's and, right. and and I will always remember one of my biggest mentors, Bonnie Hilton Sweeney. She always used to say, "What God gives us is His gift to us, 
And what mm-hmm. we become is our gift to God. No. And I will never forget that. Well, like they always say in the Bible, honor thy father and thy mother and your days will be longer. Yes, true. It says, it says that. It says that. Yes. And uh, mm-hmm. I just, I, another thing I want to tell the world, I cannot wait to do a song with you. I want to do a song with you so bad. Oh, boy. <laughs> I have one written already. We just got to just uh, get the production uh, stuff. The track has been already done. All we got to do is just rehearse it and just get on in there and do it. And I believe it might be able to do something. So you'll be singing on it and you'll be interviewing me and it's going to, I think it'll work out, you know. I think it'll well, be good. And please you know, tell your husband, Jerry, hello for me, please. please I tell will. Him hello. What a great I guy. What a great yes, guy. I will. And, and I was just about to say, you know, that I believe in the other song, Order My Steps. Uh, mm-hmm. I have I have learned a long time ago to let go and let God, and that's why that's right. That's why that's things have come to me. People mm-hmm. ask me, "How do you manage to do this or do that?" It's really mm-hmm. not me. It, it's, it's coming God. through. It's coming through yeah, me. I'm just the, I'm that's just right. the conduit. I'm just the vessel, you know, that mm-hmm. that uh, permits these gifts to manifest and so I'm right. very grateful very grateful and I'm grateful yes, that you. you have been sent to me uh and I want to thank Jimmy James for introducing mm-hmm. us Jimmy James mm-hmm. is That's one right. of my biggest supporters he's That's been right. a wonderful musician yeah. and great yeah. to work with he's also uh behind the the big camera too he's worked for the networks mm-hmm. and what have you so I hope he's out mm-hmm. there listening uh, mm-hmm. And I also want to give a shout out to Latoya, your lady. I mean, yes, she well, reminds me so you. much of my friend Linda Fontanet, mm-hmm. uh, who became Linda mm-hmm. Love. Linda was a movie mm-hmm. star. She uh, has gone on to glory. She was also mm-hmm. the uh, worked with Little Richard and many others. She was on tour, you know, and so forth. But when I first, you know, kind of entered the music scene, she was one of the first people that I met. But she's making music. In another world now, she's up there having mm-hmm. a good time. The, the, oh, that yeah. orchestra up there yeah. has been getting bigger and b- bigger. Oh, yeah. It's oh, got yeah. it very oh, yeah. wide, and it, Little Richard just uh, left us, oh, you know, just God. a little while ago. And and his girlfriend of sixty some odd years, Audrey Angel Sherborne, oh, wow. she so she think, and I we're working on a project you? together now, and we're going to honor okay. uh, Little okay. Richard. Uh, uh, his, you know, his birthday was December the fifth, so he just passed. Right. But today, right. and let me just give a shout out to all my friends, Guadalupe, Ladino, and so forth. I want to be there today at that star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame to honor mm-hmm. Linda Hopkins. Today is her birthday, December the fourteenth. Oh, wow. happy birthday! The okay. great. Linda Hopkins, Tony Award mm. winner, and I used to always call her Lady Sunshine. I call Look her. I you. said, I said, you're the Sunshine Lady because I've never seen anyone have such a beautiful spirit and a huge heart. Mm-hmm. And 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 mm-hmm. we just took to each other, you know, like a duck does to water. And I used to mm-hmm. love to go up to her house for gumbo. You know, she was oh, great. Mm-hmm. She was great on making gumbo. But but you know, there's so many others that. That come to mind, and uh, I'm glad we could do that shout out real quick. And mm-hmm. uh, you know, we're getting to wrap up now, uh, heading out to okay. the sunset, like I always say. But I want to have you tell the listeners how uh, that song, Silent Symphony, uh, came about. Now, I know that Stephen Guillory, hello, Stephen, I'm giving you a shout out to uh, you and Diary. <laughs> yeah, Stephen and his nephew, his nephew, him and his nephew. That's oh, oh I thought it was his brother. Yeah, his nephew. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, okay. I want I want to if you have some idea how that song came about. We know that Barry White, his his presence, his inspiration. Right. You can hear right. it in that beat, that oh, groove. Yeah. I mean, oh, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah. But but I want to know what what inspired uh, Stephen, if you know, to write that particular selection. Well, he um like he like he um he wrote the song for Barry White. Mm-hmm. And um, when he was with Barry White for several years, over 10 years, I think it is, mm-hmm. and uh, he wrote the song for him, but Barry White never got a chance to do the recording of it. And he arranged um, some strings for Barry White uh, in his orchestra. So he came out to, you know, see me one night performing 
um, at the uh, Marina Del Rey um, uh, warehouse in Marina Del Rey. And he heard my voice and says, man, you know, I think I have a song for you. Well, a lot of people always tell me they have songs for me, you know, but I have to listen to them to make sure it's correct, you know. And um, when, he, when he sent me the, uh, the song and the track, and I looked at myself and I said, I think I can do this. I really do think I can do this. And um, I rehearsed it, and I recorded the song on a ship. The guy had a recording studio on a ship, and that's where I record the song at. And I did it on one take because I studied it. And um, I said, oh, no, I want to fix something. He said, uh-uh, no, let's leave that like it is because this is on point. So, um, I mean, that's the way it was. I mean, Steve has uh, incredible talent. He plays so many instruments. Um, he's just a very talented man, you know, and I'm glad I met him. And, uh, you know, God put people in your path for a reason, you know, Yes, uh, yes. And I do look, believe that. Yes. You know. Look, look around mm-hmm. yourself and see who is in your path. They're either there yeah. for a, a blessing or a lesson. Yeah. E- either Bless way, it's going to work out. But listen, I've got one eye on the clock. I wish okay. we could go on. It's been a wonderful thing okay. having you uh, as a guest. Can you give a shout out on your website how people can contact you and again give them the name of your song so that they can look it up on YouTube. Oh, it's already out there. It's been out there for about uh, the last uh, two weeks or three weeks. Oh, right. yeah, it's out there. Especially, I got your name at the top. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my yeah, Lord have mercy. But oh. can, I, can I say something real, real quick? Yeah. That, the, the, um, when I went to the Apollo in New York and they had the curtains closed, a lot of people thought I was Luther Vandross, but I wasn't. And the lady said, doesn't matter if you're Luther. Honey, you can sing. And All right. And, 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 and as the saying goes, you don't sing, you sang. I sang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Howard. We're going to get on a horse you now to ride right off in the sunset, or you can use your Ferrari if you prefer. Oh, thank you so See much. You. Thank you. you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Are you tired of doing business the hard way? Is building your business taking too much time and energy? We can help. Introducing your ultimate solution, EasyWay Business Membership. We're a full-service digital marketing solution specializing in branding and marketing, advertising, and introductions to CEOs and influencers that can help your business thrive. Problem solved. Now you can hire our award-winning team to work for your business. We've received many prestigious awards, including the Digital Trailblazer Award by Hollywood Weekly Magazine, and we've been recognized by Congress. For just $11 a day, you'll get more exposure, reach more clients by next month, guaranteed. Here's how it works. You pay one low annual fee of $4,000, and you'll receive consulting, branding, marketing, advertising, social media support, product placement, and business introductions to help your business grow exponentially. And if you need more, we offer SEO, commercial, TV exposure, and much more for an additional rate. To recap, for just $11 a day annual membership fee, you'll receive branding, consulting, business-to-business introductions, advertising, and social media support. But don't take our word for it. Here's what our customers say. We've been working with EasyWay, Eric, for the last six months, and literally, we are slammed with work (laughs) for two months straight, so his marketing definitely works. To learn more, visit EasyWayNetwork.com or contact us at 877-399-2929. And don't forget to follow us on social media. On Facebook at EasyWay Network, Twitter at EasyWay Broadcast, and YouTube at EasyWay TV. Smartphone, cell phone, PC, Mac, tablet, iPad. That's right, it's tech time. You would think at these times, with the pandemic, with people getting sick, with financial crisis, with the holidays, you would crooks would take the day off or take some time off during this time, but they're not. There are more scams going on now than have been in a while. 
So I just, I know it sounds like, oh, my God, you make it sound so horrible. It is horrible. When you lose your life savings to a scam, there's no way to get the money back. So I want you to just be very careful. They especially prey on us older people because we're we're kind of vulnerable, especially with this technology stuff. So I just want to warn you again, if someone calls you and you don't know them and they ask you for your social security number, your driver's license number, bank account number, I don't care even if it looks legitimate. Say you're banking at Chase and you get an email from Chase saying that there's something fraudulent going on with your credit card. Don't click on anything. Go to the website or call your bank directly on a known number that you know will reach your bank, not the number they give you, and then ask them, is there anything wrong with your account? Sometimes you need to change your passwords. With the new iOS system, it suggests if you have a common password to change your password. It's kind of a good idea to do it and keep a track of the of the passwords that you use in a notebook somewhere. And each time you change it, just change what the password is in your notebook, and you can keep up with it. If someone calls you, do not go anywhere and get a credit card, a gift card, a debit card. Don't go anywhere and certainly don't meet anyone to pay them off for anything. That's not the way it works. The IRS is not going to call you, tell you that there's suspicious activity going on with your Social Security and ask you for information. Just hang up on them. Or if you have an air horn and they call you, blow that air horn in their ear. That'll stop them. But so many older people are being taken in right now. So I'm just warning you, don't don't say yes if they ask you on the phone, is your name Rita Gray? Don't say yes because you could be saying yes to agreeing something on a recorded line, and all it will have is you saying yes. So don't do that. Just be careful, and especially over the holiday season. And I just want to say happy Hanukkah, because it is Hanukkah, and Christmas is coming, and so is Kwanzaa. So have good, happy holidays, and don't get defrauded or taken in by anybody during this time. Now, I don't know if Jim's going to do his gyms, if he's going to do an interview. You never know what Jim's going to do. But I'm going to turn it over to Jim Zuli. Okay, okay baby, boomers. baby boomers, it's time it's for Jim from Jim. Good tips, Rita. Good tips. Before you click that little deal that comes in on your phone, you know, think twice because sometimes they get into your information and so on and so forth. So Eric Zuli, uh, you know, he's been called a pioneer here in, uh, in, in the portal between online media, radio and television and so on and so forth. It goes on and on. But yeah, he is a pioneer, but not only in the virtual world, this goes back. Uh, I remember going back 15 years or more, how he was improvising and interlocking with all the stuff going on. And uh, now these events are are becoming really interesting and in how it's done. How do you do an event where you can actually walk the carpet and so on, you know? So we've got uh, his book, The Influence Effect, which is a treasure trove of information from a variety of influential people. The Easy Way Wall of Fame, created by Eric, is, uh, is an amazing draw and so beyond beneficial and I've seen he put this together for people it wasn't being put together for a you know a, a big financial thing for him it was his mindset was how can we get people out there more and, and to interact it's, it's it's really interesting so I'm going to see if I could bring him on and we could talk about uh, the home run that was hit 
the JD3 powered by the Easyway Wall of Fame. Yep. Limitless for women. We're going to be talking about that. And we hear his, uh, there's the intro coming in. Can you hear me? So Hello? Eric Yarn with us. Hi, Hello? Eric. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. I can hear you good. Okay. There we go. Well, yeah. hey, thanks so much, Dad. I appreciate you bringing me on the show. Hey, Retha. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello. Eric. <laughs> so we're just, uh, Retha was giving her tips about be careful where you click. And, uh, well, I'll tell you, that's some interesting and, and very important stuff. And I was talking about you becoming, uh, I mean, you not becoming, you've been a pioneer in this, not only the virtual world, but so much that has gone on in the transition with uh, media, online media, radio, television, so on and so forth, bringing everything together and how you can interact with it, the wall of fame. And you just, uh, big congratulations to you and James Gently on the, uh, on the big uh, JD3 TV soft launch uh, with Limitless for Women. I mean, wow. Yeah, yeah thank you. I, I, and I, I just, I'm no, spe- no more special than anybody else out there. I just love to help people, and God gave me a gift to have an awesome brain to, you know, learn tech, you know, figure out technology and kind of be ahead of the curve, you know. And, and we did a, yeah. a am- amazing event for our client, uh, James Dentley, um, Limitless for Women, was an amazing event and and I, just the results that came from it um I, I was just blown away by how many text messages came in and leads that we got the client you know got james and and really the broadcast was great i got to shout out our team you know, our engineering team and our events directors and our, our associate producers and our editing teams and everybody that made the made the whole event happen. Our PR, in fact, I, I believe our PR, Tom Chester, I, I got him in. I think if the engineer uh, can let, let him in. And I, and I also have one of the fans, actually, one of the supporters. She's an affiliate now. She's on the Wall of Fame. Uh, I asked her to come on, so I'm hoping that Tina Ramsey's on here. And I don't know because I'm, I'm right now actually pulling myself out of a real, real major meeting because uh, it's my dad. And my dad said I need to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, the guest, Derek, I was, so engineer, uh, if, if you if you if you if you do hear me, uh, do me a favor and let Tom Chester and Tina Ramsey in on the call too. I just want I just want them to join us. It's not about me, man. Okay. It's about everybody else's perspectives, and I want to make sure that they shine because I can't do what I do with without the amazing team. So if Tom Chester and and Tina Ramsey, if you guys are there, go and say hello. Hey, good yes, afternoon, my friend. Hey guys, right. welcome to Radio Bombers Live. Can you hear me? Yeah, Absolutely. I just, right. I just Absolutely. relate that. It's, it's, Good to be here. It's, it's kind of like Eric's show, only uh, Reetha and I do it in slow motion. That's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have I have the uh, highlight and shine, uh, help help the experts shine online show, and then uh, my dad has the slow motion for baby boom version version of that. But it's it's really I gotta I gotta tell you, Dad, Rita, you, your guys' show has exponentially increased. We're we're close to seven hundred thousand listens now and we're getting an average of a thousand to uh, three thousand or so downloads per episode because you guys are giving some really good insightful information that baby boomers need to know. Uh you know, you always have every No every Eric it, it, not just the baby boomers, it's the millennials need to know this stuff so they don't make our mistakes. Yeah. Oh, totally. Well, well, the baby boomers have the grandsons and granddaughters and, and whatnot. But oh, yeah. I want to toss the microphone real quick over to uh, Tom Chesser. Uh, Tom, Tom Chesser, Chesser. Is, our, is our PR. He's actually our PR for the Easy Way Wall of Fame Awards mm-hmm. that's going to be aired on December 28th uh, at uh, 5 o'clock. And he actually did the press release for the Limitless for Women. He's, he's amazing. Oh, wow. Tom Chesser, Mike's yours. Man, hey, you know, I'll tell you what, Eric. Uh, so good to be here and get this notice that you're doing this today. You know, that event was phenomenal. I can't believe you guys pulled that off. It was spectacular. You know, JD3 TV and the launch, uh, called it a soft launch. I really thought it was a hard launch, you know, for, for what you guys are doing. And uh, it's such agree. a privilege to be able to, you know, write the article that promoted this. And right now I just Googled how many people looked up this article and right now to date it's 3610 results 
amazing that just in a cup one day, man, all of a sudden these people wow. are excited about what you guys did. It's amazing that Google recognizes you for what you did. And this is just looking on Google right now, looking up the, the header for the article. It's 3,610. Yeah, I know you guys did an awesome job, and I'm so proud to be a part of this. Thank you, Tom. I, we really appreciate you, man. And hey, you got so, so much, so much more to it. And I also want to um, move the microphone over to um, Tina Ramsey, who I, I met recently through um, my friend Tina D. Lewis, who's one of our speakers yesterday on the Limitless for Women event. She spoke with Zilica uh, Fox, Richard Branson, uh, Les Brown, uh, Mark Cuban. It goes on and on. Donald Trump. She's been on stage with him a couple times. And and Tina recently has um, just really been such a supporter. And I wanted to get the perspective of a of a of a spectator, of a supporter, and and what what she thought. She was, she, I think Tina was there all three days, the entire day. I don't think she left at all, <laughs> right, Tina? No, I didn't. I couldn't. I mean, I, first of all, I'd like to thank you, Eric, for allowing me to come on. Thank you, um, Mr. James and Rita, for allowing me just to come on your platform and just share my experience with the Limitless for Women. Um, summit event. It was three days long, and it was it was an event that was like none other event that I have ever experienced in my life. Every speaker um, was amazing, and the tagline where it says how your life will be changed, your business life, yeah. and then it said how your life will be changed. That was absolutely true, and yes, to be was. able to not only to be a participant, meaning being an attendee, all three days. It was so good that I actually played um, the event in my living room and turned it up loud so everyone that's in my house can hear it and glean inspiration. Even my husband was like, what is that? That is different. Like, what is going on? This is amazing. (laughs) Uh And so – it personally helped me, and I just want to just give a shout out to the Easy Way Wall of Fame, the family, the community, because it's one thing to have an amazing platform, which the Easy Way provides that, but it's a whole nother thing when you have a community of like-minded women who are all cheering each other on, who are all supportive, and the JD3 TV network is just icing on the cake. That that event was phenomenal and I have taken advantage of a lot of the trainings already. I mean, through that event I was able to talk to Forbes. Like, really? Me? And Dr. Sonya and the lawyer, um, Dr. Lily, and thank you, Tina D. Lewis, for inviting me to the previous um event that that she was a part of. She invited me to that, which in essence led me to come to the Lemonist for Women event, which I would have never known anything about it without Tina D. Lewis. So shout out to her. Thank you, thank you, thank you for seeing something in me that you said, Hey, you need to see this. And yeah. Eric, amazing, amazing. I can't wait to the next one. I have pen and paper. I wrote a pair of about three notebooks. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the problem I had, Tina, was uh, I had a lot of stuff to do this weekend, and I got done because I was just glued, and I couldn't I couldn't set it down. I just one after another. They're all so interesting. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of people don't know this, uh, Dad, Tom, um, Tina, Rita. Um, we aired that live on our network, Roku, Apple, and Amazon, and, and uh, our Apple app. And uh, the numbers were about 16,000 people that were watching live from our network. Oh, and wow. and then the, the email blast that went out on this event. Now, mind you, um, let me just kind of break down the event. Because some of you guys that are listening right now are probably like, wow, this event sounds incredible. But, they, but, you, but you don't know anything about it. So this event had featured speakers like Forrest Riley, Sharon Lecter, uh, Dr. Sonia uh, Stribling, who was on Bravo for years. Uh, Forrest Riley is a $2.5 billion infomercial, uh, you know, queen. Uh, that, you know, that's what Forbes, uh, Forbes magazine says. Sharon Lecter is the co-author, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you can hear the dings right now, but these are people that are messaging. They've been messaging me all day since 7 a.m. Uh, uh, you know, since, since I woke up, I've been getting people contacting us about wanting to do an event for them or, you know, can they interview me on their magazines or podcasts and, 
And so obviously the results are there. We also had Kim Marie Branch, which is the CEO of Lift Tip International, a very close friend of mine, close friend of the Easyway family. Over 300,000 business owners are part of their organization. My dad knows a little bit about Lift Tip. Tell him a little bit about Lift Tip, Dad. Well, it's like getting into a family. And if you're a business person, you go to their meetings, which are now probably virtual, and you just meet other people. And you share a network, uh, and, and your database goes up, and, and you just everybody has a uh, a similar interest in growing their business, and uh, it's it's just a group that helps each other, and you meet on a you know monthly basis or even I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, you get to know each other, and you're sharing all your stuff. Your business might be tied in with somebody else's in a roundabout way or however it works, and it, it just grows it, and it's just. Uh, it, it's it's something that's going to work because you're just yeah. walking out with, with numbers. Yeah, it, and, it, and it does work. I mean, it, it, B2B is, the, is, is – so B2B digital lead, okay? I want, you to, I, want, I want you to write that down, okay? We're going to teach B2B digital lead. I just came up with that right now because right now B2B digital lead is where you're going to make your money, okay? With, 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 with the COVID craziness, you have to learn B2B digitally. And these are organizations, if you look at the Easyway Wall of Fame, these are all people that are on the wall. Pretty much every one of the people that are on our stage are on, on, that, on that wall. And someone like um, Kim Marie Branch, you know, that has Latip International, she, you got 300,000 some business owners that you can touch through that one person, through that one Kim Marie Branch. You know, then you got Dr. Sonia Strimling and her following and Sharon and her following and Forbes and her 1.8 million people. You know, and then let's go down to the other, you know, 15 or 20 or so speakers. I, I, I want to, you know, obviously uh, mention them, but they're all, I mean, there's just too much information to give of who these people are. And the, the thing of it is, is if you weren't there live, this was not a Facebook or YouTube thing that's going to be archived and you can go watch the content again. This was an exclusive exactly. event for our client, James Dentley and JD3TV. This was invaluable information that was, in my opinion, worth thousands of dollars an hour. Would you agree, Tina, Tom? More than that, it surpassed that. The wealth of knowledge, the support, the, the, every speaker was phenomenal. Even the commercials were amazing. The sponsors was amazing. It's something that forever changed my life. And I just want to say thank you to everyone, for all of you, for doing what you do because – uh, I, I can't even put into words how thankful I am that my paths crossed with you all. And everyone who's listening, get on to the Easy Way Wall of Fame Network. You have no excuses because they even have a part where you can get in for free. And then when you're ready to level up, you go ahead and get those amazing packages that's going to take you to the next level. Because I'm definitely going in. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. I appreciate that. Tom, Tom what's, your, what's your opinion? You know, it's um, it's amazing what you guys did with this virtual event. You know, you're setting the bar so high for other people uh, to do this. Everybody's been scrambling to try to figure this out. But uh, with Easy Way and with JD3TV and the event that you guys just put on, uh, man, it was amazing. It was really, really amazing it's bringing so many people together. You know, we, we can't do that in person right now, but being able to do it like you guys did it, I, I was uh, – my jaw dropped. I'll be honest with you. I was like, whoa, wait a minute here. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you. So I, cool. I, I appreciate that. And, 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 and so but going back, going back to, to uh, some of the speakers, here, I want to make sure that – because I know for a fact that, that, uh, that my friends, the speakers that are on this um, – this, this, this stage, um, they, they uh, are going to be listening to the show and they are going to be uh, sharing this, hopefully. And so I want to make sure we acknowledge everybody. Shayvon, Vince Vaughn's mother from Women Crashers and uh, Women on TV, you know, nationally recognized health and wellness authority, uh, you know, was, was on our stage. Michelle Sealer Tucker, who's a prominent expert in buying and selling businesses, period. She's closed 98% of most offers that she touches. Patty Sadler, who has her own publishing company. You want to get into the book business? There's no one better than Patty Sadler. She's got a big stage that we're building for her, a big channel that we're building for her called Heart Talks. You know, so not only not only are you listening to Patty, but you're also getting a platform afterwards. And that's what we're doing. Is it's it's about the follow up. It's about the continuance of what you're listening to on a broadcast. Because right now people are listening to a podcast. That's great. 
and then they move on and go on with their life. With us, you listen to a broadcast like this right now, you go on the Wall of Fame, and you continue, and you meet people, and you follow up, and you make money. Okay? We are doing the concierge follow-up to these, plat- to these platforms. Laurel Langmire, who's a money expert, sought-after mo- uh, you know, mo- mo- money uh, millionaire maker, and she's a speaker, entrepreneur, and, and like thought leader, and best-selling author, New York Times, it goes on and on and on. Uh, Dr. Dante Shears, who's who's internationally money coach and cash flow consultant, and what she does with with World Prosperity Network and and real estate and and just you know making it happen through entertainment and media. My girlfriend, she, uh, you know, she killed it on stage. And, and Ch- uh, Charity Smith, I know Charity's listening because she's messaging me right now saying I'm listening. Go, Eric, you go, boy, you're on fire. Thank you, Charity. I appreciate that. So, Miss Smith is an advocate for women's business and economic power. She serves on many boards. And she's a champion when it comes to legislation and and funding opportunities and real estate and like she's a she's got all the uh, the viable economic power. Hannah Hornstein is a financial genius. You want to you want to connect and be financially planned and I think I think Hannah was my dad's favorite because she like I mean Hannah really needs to come on this show dad as I think about it Rita because they she is the genius that tells you how to how to financially plan your future. And make sure that you're ready, especially if things are, are transitioning. Angel Tusi, who's an award-winning speaker, radio TV host, producer, best-selling author, PR, media specialist. You want to get out there? You want to get marketed? She's not as good as me, but she's pretty good. No, okay. She's great. Um, you know, and, and then you got uh, Focus James. And Focus James, is she, makes it, she really helps you to learn how to make things crystal clear and live through your life through purpose and, and just – really find out how to love people. And just, she has that radiation of the, uh, of the heart. You know, then you have Dr. Tamla Odom, who is part of the actual team and she's an experienced instructor in licensing. And she's a minister. She's a leadership empowerment coach. And she is known as Dr. O because she makes it always outstanding when it comes to getting, getting, getting with her. Then we got Tina D. Lewis. You've already heard about Tina D. Lewis, um, uh, Megan Martino. Now, Megan Martino has sold multiple businesses and spas, and she has all these different things, and she knows how to, how to, how to get you the seven figures. Dr. Money, who's our client. By the way, am I going too fast for you, baby boomers? Can you not keep up? You don't like the Micro Machines guy thing? Can you? I don't know. Uh, 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 just kidding. Dr. Stephanie Audrey has maintained an impeccable market, and she has the vision for capitalization. Okay, She knows how to help you create capital to get capital. She's really good at that. Luann Mitchell has an empire, just like we do. She's, she has Big Media USA. She's a beauty queen. She's a, she's, she was a meat packer in Canada. I mean, what I'm trying to get across to you guys, Robbie Matthews, she's a transformational financial DNA coach, da-da-da-da-da, empowerment. It just, but if you, what I'm trying to get across to you guys is what was really, I think, the biggest and most amazing takeaway is these speakers were all different. They all were different, and they all had impactful knowledge and informa- information for you that if you took and you absorbed and took little notes on each and every one of them, you could build your own business like that. You know? And that's what I've done is I, I help to absorb – I take everybody's skills and what they do or whatever, and I learn, I listen, I adopt, and I absorb, and I put it into my own thing. I do, I do me. And then last but not least, I saved the, uh, the, the best for last, our celebrity people throughout Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We had Brian Tracy, who who's, has like – 80 books and he's a bestseller and this and that. I'm, most people know Brian Tracy. That was Friday. Les Brown on Saturday and Kevin Harrington from Shark Tank on Sunday. So those of you guys that are listening, this was a pretty impactful event. It, it, we made it happen and we did it all for our client, JD3 TV. JD3 TV launched. They, 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 you know, Tom said it seemed like a launch. Well, it, this was a soft launch. Wait until the actual launch happens. Even bigger speakers Bigger opportunities, bigger situations, but the biggest thing that happened for the client, for the event, the results, I know everybody's on the edge of the seats wondering what the ROI was. We got a lot of ROI. We got a lot of database. A lot of people opted in. And every single one of you guys that opted in, you're going to get a virtual gift bag. You're going to get followed up on. We're doing a a follow-up on Wednesday and Thursday. If you guys want to come, you can register, and we're going to get more into detail of all of what what, what we just discussed. So if you're interested in anything that I just told you and you want to come to the free webinar where me and James and some other amazing people are going to come host, okay, then you need to text easy way, letter E, letter Z, W-A-Y, to the number 55.
six seven eight. Now, for those baby boomers out there that can't text, just email. <laughs> I got you, Rita. I heard you. E Z W A Y Network. E Z W A Y Network. N E T W O R K at Gmail dot com. We'll get you your free ticket to attend that attend that webinar. But what has happened from this event is exponential, but not for us, but for everybody else. I'm going on social media and watching people go crazy and go nuts, and their groups are growing. They're meeting just like just like Tina said. Oh my God, I can't believe it! I met Forbes Riley, and I met everything was open. It was one giant family. And the fact that you weren't a part of it, you better be a part of it the next time, because you missed out. That's all I got to say. Dad, back to you. Read yeah. back to you. Yeah, well, wait, like, before uh, you before you go, Eric. Make sure everybody knows how to get to the Wall of Fame. Okay, thank you, Aretha. Yeah, so uh, th- the Wall of Fame is pretty simple. It's easywaywalloffame.com or easywaywall.com for short. So if you Google Easy Way Wall, you'll get to it. But if you go to easywaywalloffame.com, it's, we've made it very, very simple now. There's, you cannot miss the buttons that say sign up. You put your name, your email in, your password, you're good to go. You're ready to go. There's a video that tells you how to make your profile. And that's it. Once you make your profile, people start, you know, all the, all the stuff that Tina talked about and Tom talked about, you will start seeing the easy way movement. People will start connecting with you. And it, it branches back off to your social media, to your websites, to your stuff. So you absorb from us and then you get the value back to you. Okay. And, and we're adding so many cool things to this. It's unbelievable. I'm not even going to get into the wall of fame. There's not enough time. But the Wall of Fame is an amazing tool for you, period. And if you're not on it, you're going to be on it eventually, and you're going to wish that you were on it now. So later on, you four and James months from now, three months from now. You and James work well together as hosting each, with each other. Oh, James is I, – I love James, and I, and I really appreciate him for the kind words that he gave me while we were on stage. It was an honor to host with him for those three days. It was the most tiring – I mean, it, was, it reminded me of my virtual summit with the same speakers pretty much, a couple other extras. Uh, you know, that was on our, our brick and mortar broadcast virtual summit, which we still need to put out on the network, a wealth of knowledge as well. So we're going to, we're going to have the most amazing content for you guys to learn from. And then all of these people are on the wall of fame. I mean, uh, uh, let me just talk about a little bit more of the return. If I may, the wall of fame has a shopping cart, similar to Amazon. All of these influencers that are on the wall have a service, have, have a very special price service that only is available for the Wall of Fame, okay? So, like, for instance, Tina and uh, Tina, uh, uh, Tina Ramsey, you know that to what Tina D. Lewis charges. Tina D. Lewis charges a minimum of $2,000 and up to touch her and do anything with her. Correct, Tina? Am I wrong? You're correct. Okay. So, to touch Tina, you're looking at about $2,000. Normally, it's $10,000 for the bigger package, and it goes all the way up to $100,000. I've known Tina forever. But through the Easy Way Wall of Fame, right now, as we speak, you can go to easywaywalloffame.com. You can click on shop. On the fourth page, you'll see her offer. Guess how much for, guys? And this is only available for the next 24 hours, unless Tina tells me I can, I can extend it. The next 24 hours. So by, by tomorrow night at midnight, this thing pretty much ends, okay? So I said that she normally charges $2,000. Now, normally a speaker would go, oh, but I'll take 50% off. It'll be $997, right? No, I convinced Tina. I said, no, no, no. We're going to give a real special situation for my wall of famers, for the people that support us. The, it's got to be really special if you want to be on our thing. So $199. We've already had seven people that have, have, have already gotten that. And what Tina teaches is unbelievable as far as how you position yourself, you pivot yourself for your purpose. And like I said, she's on stage with Donald Trump and Oprah and, and all that stuff, so she obviously knows her stuff. Well, and so I'm well, going to be getting throw- together – I want to throw this in about Tina. She's a, uh, which I, I don't know if she mentioned this, and I don't know if she knows this, but she is a key to unlocking the door to getting rid of procrastination, if I put that right. Because she actually got me to open up a can of paint that I've been procrastinating about so much that I just about have to buy a new can if that's after so long. But after listening to her, I said, man, I was motivated. I just opened this can of paint up after the show, and I started painting this room. <laughs> yeah, so, so let, me, let me just say this, guys. All of what you're hearing, you're going to see more and more bigger names come in. We're talking to the bigger, bigger names now, too. You're going to see them interviewed on my show. 
Okay, you're going to see them get get involved with Easy Way. It's going to keep growing more and more and more. We're going to start doing stages with them and, and webinars with them and, and giving you the access to the influencers. We're going to give you the virtual handshake effect to these amazing people, to these amazing situations, to give you the, your own chance to get on stages. Get my book. Learn from the book, The Influence Effect. It's like 20 bucks. You know, go to ericzuli.com forward slash book. Never thought a millionaires would have a book, but I was a three-time bestseller with 2,200 sales in and less than two months the first time I did it. So obviously we're doing so like people in the book too. Yeah. I mean, Ed Sharon Lecter's in the book. James Dentley is in the book. Thanks dad. Frank Shank was the creator of the make a wish foundations in the book. A lot of great stories. It, it really is a good book. I'm proud of, I'm proud of that. Proud of everybody that was involved. And I'm doing another book too. Who'd like to be in my book? Raise your hand. If you'd like to be in my book, I feel you. I feel you raising your hand right now. I, if you want to be in, be in my book, call me, call, call our Google voice line at 424-209. 9290. We already got Forbes Riley in the book. And I mean, I'm not going to mention all the people that are, that are going to be in the next book, but the next book is going to be a lot of fun. And it's going to be all about, you know, how to get connected the easy way, how to get connected the right way, how, how to get connected, not the hard way, but the right way, the easy way. In fact, let me throw this out there too. I just was actually, um, it was, it was brought to my attention, Tom, you're going to love this. Okay. It was brought to my attention. And I don't know how much this actually relates to us, but it was brought to my attention that Verizon a billion dollar corporation. Verizon came out with a commercial. And thank you for texting me, guys. Uh, they, they reminded me about this. Verizon came out with a commercial and said something about don't do it the easy way, do it the right way. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that, that that's us for sure. I don't, know, I don't know yet. But Disney did the same thing. All of a sudden, they came out with the Wall of Fame, uh, you know, stuff. So, I'm seeing the big boys, the real, real big mainstream boys doing similar things. That's all I'm saying. Something's happening. God's got his hand on this thing. It's going to be pretty incredible. And what we do, guys, is for you, period. And we're building a community together. I, and, in fact, Dad, should I tell them about the, the billionaires elite the, the stage, the big broadcast we were talking about, or should I save that for the next time? Well, we'll have that as a surprise because the billionaires elite uh, situation that's coming up is going to be uh, totally awesome, and we'll, we'll, okay. we'll let the anticipation. Okay, so I won't I won't go into that, but let me just say this. First and foremost, thank you to our sponsor, BrainTap. I my 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 I've been so much more on point in closing deals ever since I've been using them, and my stress has gone down. I've actually been able to get sleep, and man, I've been on point. I've been my my closing ratio has incre- increased at least twenty five percent. Get yourself a brain tap, guys. Braintap.com. But let me let me just say this. Become our affiliate. Okay? Go to easywaywalloffame.com. Create your account for free. Become an affiliate. Tina's one an affiliate. Tom's an affiliate. Most people are affiliates. And anything that you bring to us, you're gonna start making money with. We're gonna start building this. The app's coming out on March. I'm doing a mega event March twentieth with a major, major app development company that deals with some of the top businesses in the world. And we're going to be releasing the Easyway Wall of Fame app. We're going to do a big Celebrate You event. So if you're part of the Easyway family, if you're, if you're in the network, we want to celebrate you. We want to bring you on stage. We want, to, we want to, if you have a show with us, if you have something with us, if you're a member, if you're a paid member, if you're a paid client, if you're involved with us in some way on a business level, we're going to highlight you and feature you on that event. And that event is going to be one of the biggest events. Why? Because it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Yeah, there you go. So we're going we to have, have a lot of fun birthday. together. So I, I got to take off, guys. I got a real, real – I got to hop back in this meeting. But I, I love you, Dale. I love you, Rita. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Remember, Tom and, oh, Tom and, to Tom and Tina is still there. Yes, right. and, and, and thank you. Thank you, Tom and Tina, for coming on. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, the show yesterday and being on. And uh, we want to thank you for taking your time because I know you have busy schedules. Oh, yeah. I definitely enjoyed it. Thank you for having me. No, you're uh, yeah, you're I really enjoyed. Yeah, it was amazing. It was amazing. I got to catch like you did, catch quite a bit of it, but not all of it. You know, while I was doing my stuff, but every bit of it was just so in- exciting and informative. You know, and just power packed time. I don't it, think there was a dull moment in between. So phenomenal. No, I, I no, I appreciate all the, the comments, and and that's what it was, and like. like when I was watching this, I thought, you know, all right, I have a lot of stuff to do, and I'm listening to you guys, and, and I think this one particular time, Tina was getting me motivated to actually get things done, 
and that's what it's all about. And it, when, when you're watching something and you can't can't put it down, you know, like your cell phone or something, and you're glued to it one after another, and literally, and I think, well, three days, I might catch it a few hours. No, I was with it all three days because one after another, they were so interesting and informative and everything. It was it was really cool. There's so much information, and you have to have a notebook with you. Take some notes, you know. And and Reetha and I, we uh, we're, are you a note taker, Reetha, or you just remember it? Uh, no, I'm a note taker. I can barely remember my middle name nowadays, so I take notes. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, you guys remember uh, uh, Betty White, right? Tina and and, and Tom. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, well, Rita was uh, Betty White's co-star off their rockers. That's that's wow. who Rita. Yeah, she's been in a lot of TV and so on and so forth. And uh, we talk about what it's like doing it now. Uh, I mean, we we asked Rita, do you go down and do the auditions? Uh, anymore, or do you do them virtually? And she says, you know, it's there's more people auditioning virtually now than than used to be, right, Ruth? Oh well, it's required. We're no no longer first auditions in person. You do them virtually, online, over Zoom, over different platforms. It's a whole new world out in Hollywood. Matter of fact, I was. It's scheduled to do some stuff and then they lock down again and so we're back just waiting for the go ahead for us to be able to go back but I do have some Christmas movies out so uh, look, look for me in some Christmas movies I know a husband for Christmas is out and if you've seen the commercial for Coles uh, where the little girl is making friends with the mature woman <laughs> that lives next door. I'm that mature woman. It's kind of a tearjerker commercial, but All right. cool. it, it it talks about giving from the heart, and I know that that's what Easy Way is all about: is giving from the heart. Well, Tom and Tina, well, you I'm going to have amazing. to go. I'm going to have to go look at that. I'm going to go look at that commercial. I didn't. I, okay, you just got my attention. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rita's a, <laughs> Reef is a humble star, but uh, you know she's also a, a you know she's the kind of lady who goes out and and surfs when the uh, glaciers break and skydiving and scuba diving. She does all that stuff, and she, she's a go getter. <laughs> Not so much but, uh, anymore, but you know what? We are way over. Time. We're about a time. We've had wonderful yeah. guests. We've talked about the wonderful conference that took place over the weekend. Jim, why don't you go ahead and just close us on out? Tom and Tina, you guys are amazing. You're you're an inspiration and motivational to me, and boy, I need that that uh, motivation stuff it gets me going. And I want to thank you guys for coming on. And the Easy Way Wall of Fame is up, rocking and rolling. And uh, congratulations to James and Eric with the uh, with the JD3 TV uh, Limitless for Women. It was a, just an absolute home run. But with that. Radio Boomers Live, guys. Keep moving. Keep the faith. And uh, Radio Boomers Live signing out until next Monday morning. So long, guys. Finally, something to look forward to on Monday morning. I'm Rita Gray from Betty White's Off Air Rockers, and I've teamed up with Easy's dad, Jim Zuli, to rock your world on Baby Boomers Live. That's right. Every Monday morning at 10 a.m., we will be discussing all things human from a baby boomer's perspective. So, tune in to easywaybroadcasting.com on blogtalkradio.com to see what Jim and I are up to. Your Mondays will never be the same. Easyway Magazine is your best vehicle to advertise in if you would like to reach a quality database in corporate Hollywood. Not only will you read the stories and enjoy the content, you will also get to interact through social media and get to meet who's featured at the events, as well as get exclusive interviews from your favorite celebrities. Easyway Magazine is a Los Angeles and Orange County-based magazine, but also reaches an international audience. Subscribe to Easyway Magazine today by following Easyway Broadcasting on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or easywaybroadcasting.com's website. To advertise, call 424-209-9290 or email contact at easywaybroadcasting.com. That's letter E and letter Z, because we don't do it the hard way. We do it the easy way. 
Are you looking to accelerate your influence? EasyWayToWall.com is a new site that allows you to promote yourself, business, brand, and your products as an influencer. You can share your ideas, receive comments, promote and brand yourself with the power of affiliation. Associate yourself and your brand with the power players of today to become leaders of tomorrow. Come and join the EasyWay Wall today. Sign up at wall.easywaybroadcasting.com or text EasyWay Wall to 55678. Thank you for listening to Radio Boomers Live with your host, Rita Gray, star Betty White's Off Air Rockers, and EZ's dad, Jim Zuli. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Radio Boomers Live. Radio Boomers Live is brought to you by the Easy Way Broadcasting Network. That's the letter E, the letter Z, Broadcasting Network. <laughs>